All right, John, not sure if you've done this before, so I'm gonna film what I'm doing here to uh, take these uh, outboard leaning edges out and uh, basically kind of short pack it to fit into this box. Um, this is a box that I got another glider delivered in uh, that had the, lead, the uh, outboard leaning edges pulled out for uh, transport as well. So uh, I guess it cuts down on the shipping costs to have these shorter boxes sometimes. It's just a few feet shorter. But uh, the length is what uh, changes the cost the most. Anyway, um, so here, here are the uh, wingtips folded up the way they were. Uh, this one's a little bit unfolded because I just undid it. But basically, I'm just uh, unfolding the wingtip out of here. And then I can pull this back and see the whole uh, trailing edge. Um, here's the screws that... Uh, where I turned it down one turn on each wing tip um, to make it uh, a little more pitch responsive. But as you move up, you got a, uh, a pin right here with a little uh, safety pin on the bottom. So you can take that out and uh, that'll remove the uh, aft end of the sail from the uh, leading edge. And then as you go further up here, Inside here, you got the same thing. You got a pin that uh, keeps the leading edge together. And so I'm gonna undo that, slide the leading edge in a little bit, take that strap off back here and pull that uh, outboard leading edge out. Um, and then I'll roll it all up and send it to you. So uh, reassembly is the reverse of that. Um, and there are directions in the manual that uh, take you how to take you through how to reassemble it. So I'm going to pause here and uh, undo these pins. Okay, so I just pulled that pin out and uh, put the safety pin back on there. And I'm just going to move back here and pull the leading edge out. So there we go. There's your outboard leaning edge. That's all it is. Is there's a pin right here where the strap uh, uh, keeps the sail on, and then there's a pin up here that uh, keeps the the leaning edge connected up there. So that's it. And then I'm just gonna uh, carefully fold it up and pad it and. Uh, That'll make it uh, several feet shorter, and then it'll fit in this box. And all you have to do uh, when you get the glider back is uh, I'll mark these leading edges as left and right, but the manual talks about how to tell which one is which too. And you're just going to slide this back in the sail and um, there it is up there. And you're going to put the pin back in there, put the pin back in here with the, uh, with the sail, and pull everything back inside, and you'll be good to go. Also, I forgot, we're going to have to uh, take the sprog off, because if you don't, it can get damaged since it's laying against this tube here. Um, and... If the glider's flipped over in the box or anything, it could bend some of this. So anyway, all I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to remove the screw and the nut here. And I'm going to put tape on to preserve your sprog settings um, because you want these uh, obviously to be where they were before. That's what affects uh, the tuning and the turn in the glider and stuff. So I will have that taped up for you. All you got to do when you get it back is just uh, reattach the sprog. The cable is going to stay on there. But uh, just put the screw and the nut back in. And, uh, and that'll be it. Um, the, uh, the cable goes on the bottom, basically facing down toward the, toward the glider. Um, and I'll have the, uh, the screw and the nut will be back in there where they were before.
By the way, it's a uh, quarter inch socket to remove this sprog. So the sprog's gonna be laying in here just like this with the um, cable facing inward. And so all you do, it'll be, uh, this is gonna be taped so that it can't screw in or out in transit. But all you do is put this back in just the way it's laying. It just goes right back onto there. Remove the screw, obviously, screw it in, and you'll be all set. And I've uh, protected the ends with cardboard and tape so that it uh, doesn't damage your sail any. Same thing here. Um, the sprog is taped in place so it can't unscrew. And I did mark on there that it's a quarter inch nut that you need. So you'll just pull that piece of tape off. Put that thing right back on the way it is right now and you'll be good to go. So there it is. Uh, the sprog is all taped up. The leading edge uh, is protected. I taped up the uh, connections here with the sprog hardware so none of that messes with your sail. And then I've got the uh, folded up tip here. And I'm just going to fold this down. into position like that, uh, fold it a little bit better, and that's how it's gonna be packed up for you. So all you gotta do is unfold that leading edge, untape everything, slide the uh, aft leading edge into the hole, pin it, um, reattach the uh, sprog, and uh, reattach the uh, sail at the uh, at the wing tip, the pin is in there, um, and that'll be it. Um, and you can look in the uh, YouTube manual as well online. There's a PDF, and it'll show you how to do it. So that's it. One last thing: um, the inboard traverse batten, which is down here. So there's the nose. Here's the uh, aft leading edge right down here that's uh, all covered up. This is the, uh, or I'm sorry, this is the forward leading edge and this is the aft leading edge that I've got laying on top of it here. So if you reach inside the sail here, you have to kind of go, you know, unfold the sail, go in here, you have this uh, inboard traverse batten um, that the uh, sprogs rest on. And uh, it's a little bit, it's a little bit tricky to get back on but there's a little tab here, and let's see if I can do this and show you. Um, this tab just pulls back. Over the end, and um, anyway, I've got it in there right now. It's gonna be uh, removed. You just have to slide this traverse batten back in all the way up into the front of the pocket up here. And then you have to uh, just slide the little piece of fabric back up and over it so it stays in there. I'll show you what it looks like when it's off. Hold on one second. All right, here we go. I got it started. So now it's popped out of there. I'm just going to slide that out so that the uh, so that the sail can fold, and it'll be it'll be right up here with everything else. So here's the uh, aft leading edge removed from the sail. And if you notice, the uh, ends, ends of the tube are slotted. So all you have to do is uh, make sure you get the right side up with the sprog on top here. And you just slide it inside of the uh, sprog pocket.
make sure you keep the sprog outside and you're going to slide it right up to the forward leaning edge and with this slot aligned like this you can just go right up to the pin and you don't even need to remove the safety pin or anything you can just slide it in there and uh, let's see if I can film this it slides right in And you'll feel the notch in there. So that notch just slides right up here and locks in against the pin. It's not actually, there's not actually a hole, so you don't have to remove this. And then when you tension the wing, everything stays in place. So no need to undo that pin down there. The uh, ends of the box are, uh, one end of the box is protected by a cap like this, and it'll have screws in it. Uh, the other end is just going to have a piece of cardboard over it that's taped in place to uh, make sure the glider doesn't slide out. Um, there was only one end cap with this box when it was sent to me, but that worked fine. And uh, down along the seam here, you'll just want to take a, uh, a knife and cut all those uh, all those pieces of tape because it's really tight and you're not going to be able to get the hang glider out of the box without cutting those pieces of tape but uh, just cut those pieces of tape and uh, cut out the uh, cardboard at the far end down there um, and it'll slide right out and then you might want to save the box because uh, you never know when you may be doing this um, I just strung mine up in the garage and uh, hung on to it for a couple of years and lo and behold, um, saved me some money. These things go for like 50 bucks. Your dealer probably has them sitting around, but um, might be a good thing to keep. All right, man, that's it.